Hmm. Ah, yes. What happens on your iPhone stays on your iPhone. <laughs> that is, of course, unless you download something on your iPhone, apparently. F*** me. Also, this is not a document of any kind. This is a painting of Alex Jones. Want daily tech news in a way that doesn't suck? Of course you do. Hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you don't miss the next episode. Yo, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to Front Page Tech. Of course, show that gives you all this tech news from one geek that is me to another that is you. It's great to see it, man. It feels it feels really, really good to be back. Thank you for all the love on yesterday's episode for our illustrious return. I'm glad you guys dig season seven, the look, the feel, the music. And speaking of music, we need to give a couple thank yous to a couple people that helped make this season possible. Number one, number one, <laughs> number one. Our boy Randy Vasquez returned this season to do all of the music, so everything you hear uh, this season for Front Page Tech, made by him. The dude is a motherfucking rock star, one of the most talented people I have ever met in my life. I'll leave a link to his stuff down in the description. Randy, we love you. Thank you, my boy. Also, uh, he actually, at the time of this like being posted, released the full version, like a full track of our theme song that you can go listen to at your leisure on his channel. I'll link that video down in the description below. And I can't miss him. Josh Dutra, who is actually, we've never done this before, but we hired a logo designer and Josh is who we hired this season, and the logo is super, super dope. He worked really well with us. We're working with him sort of independently, but if you're interested, you want to hire him, here is his Fiverr page. You can find him there. And of course, all of Josh's links will be down in the description. Go show both of these men some super FPT community love. And uh, let's do the news. All right, so a story numero uno is about Samsung. Why did I have trouble saying Samsung? It seems they have an idea that could destroy the notch. We thought Samsung wasn't going to do the whole notch thing. Then they started doing the notch thing. Uh, and now they're getting creative with a way to like not do it. So what we're about to show you is like a future Galaxy Note design. Uh, we may never see this like it's just a patent. We may never ever see this out in the wild. But hey, a boy can dream. Actually, if this is a dream. I want to wake up. So, no notch, no punch hole display, no slidey up mechanism. Uh, what else do they do? No uh, motorized camera lifty thingy. This would allow us to get the all screen phone of our dreams. Well, I mean, it's not really my dreams, maybe your dreams. It's kind of interesting. So instead of having the actual camera module itself on the phone or in the phone, they are gonna put it in the S Pen. So yes, uh, the selfie camera may be placed inside the actual stylus, inside the S Pen. So theoretically, you could take the S Pen out and go, that's the sound a camera makes, and take a picture of yourself. That is, of course, until you lose your fucking stylus. Oh God, could you, I just had a thought in my head area region. What if you lose your original S Pen? How much will it cost to replace it? It's got a camera in it. How much is that thing gonna cost? If I lost the S Pen, I would just be like, I don't need to take selfies. I'll just buy a new phone. I'll just get a new phone. I mean, after all, that's what I did to my last house. I lost the keys to the front door, couldn't get in the house. So I just burned it down, got a new house. That's a joke. Don't call the police. Hey, speaking of front facing cameras, uh, FaceTime bug, you remember that? We were gone when that happened, thank God. Remember the FaceTime bug? So there was a bit of an issue where uh, someone could call you, they could FaceTime you, they could effectively initiate a group call, they just add their own name to the call, uh, and then it would just start listening. And by start listening, I mean listening to you. Like, you didn't even have to answer the call, and the person who was calling you could hear you. Again, that's without you answering the call. You don't gotta answer anything and they can just spy on you with their ears. It gets worse if you were to like, for whatever reason, hit the power button. Um, again, you didn't answer the call, you just hit the power button, then it'll turn your video on. Then they can see you, which is awful. This is a situation where literally the best case scenario is they see you like this. You know, that way you look at your phone when you don't think it's looking back at you. And that's best case scenario. We don't we don't really want to talk about worst case scenario now, do we? What is even happening? Okay, listen, <laughs> the person that discovered this bug is actually a 14 year old, 14 year old. I said that weird. 
A 14 year old. I think I still said it weird. It. His name is Grant Thompson and Apple is actually compensating his family. So they're compensating his family and giving an additional gift of love to help fund Grant's tuition. Now, we don't know how much money they gave the family, but like my guess is like I, probably a couple bucks and a pack of gum. <laughs> Listen, I kid, I kid. They probably gave him a bunch of money. Probably not as much money as they give me. Huh? Am I right? You know, because John Prosser paid Apple shill. Oh, hey, speaking of being a paid Apple shill, I'm now going to say something negative about them. I gotta keep you on your toes. Are they paying them? Are they not paying them? Wait, are they paying them? Are they not paying them? For fuck's sake, apparently some iPhone apps have been recording your screen without you knowing. Some of the apps on this list include Abercrom Abercrombie, Abercrombie and Fitch. Haven't heard of them since seventh grade. Hollister. Oh, haven't heard of them since seventh grade either. Expedia. Hotels.com, Singapore Airlines, Air Canada. I'm sure there's others, but for now, that's what we got for you. Oh man, it's a good thing I don't have any of those apps on my phone other than Hotels.com. Oh, sh None of these apps tell you that they're doing this. It's a complete secret. You don't know what's happening and fuck them. Yikes, was that too harsh? No, I, no, it wasn't too harsh. Fuck them. And of course, Apple has come out and responded to this. They said protecting user privacy is paramount in the Apple ecosystem. Our App Store review guidelines require that apps request explicit user consent and provide a clear visual indication when recording, logging, or otherwise making a record of user activity. This is the best part. Part. You ready for the best part? Here's the best part. We have notified the developers that are in violation of these strict privacy terms and guidelines, apparently not strict enough, and we will take immediate action if necessary. No, Apple, f off with your immediate, immediate action should have been before you made that statement. You don't go, hey, stop that. If you do it, we're going to have to do something immediately. You're not doing nothing immediately. You're letting them know, hey, that's bad. To fucking punish them. PUNISH THEM! I will attack you with the North. Immediate action should not have been just words to reporters and say, hey, hey, this is what we say about this thing. No, fucking don't stop that! This is not okay! This is not okay. Fuck. If you've ever been looking up your favorite music and suddenly you see this, then you should probably hop on the VPN train before you get left at the station, baby. And there is no better way to get into VPNs than our friends over at Hotspot Shield. Hotspot Shield is one of the most convenient, reliable VPNs I have ever had the pleasure of using. They got 30 patents, a unique proprietary VPN transport protocol that optimizes multiple server connections that are stronger and faster over longer distances. You just open up the app, hit connect, and all of a sudden, every website you visit all of the data you send and your location is completely 100% hidden. They ain't never gonna find you. All, of course, on Hotspot Shield's blazing network of thousands of servers across the whole world. This is your gateway to truly accessing the internet with no borders. So what do you say you hop on this train, join the over 650 million other users across the globe? Yeah, it's a lot of people on train. You can click the link in the description to get started today. Of course, huge thanks to Anchor Free. Hotspot Shield for supporting this show. <laughs> That's the show. Hopefully you liked it, you learned something. If you did, hit that like button. If you hate my stupid face, hit the dislike button. If you're new here, subscribe, and I will see you guys manana tomorrow.